The Minister of Food and Agriculture has placed an indefinite ban on the exports of capsium, solanum, lufa and all leafy vegetables to the international markets from June 1, 2019. In a statement signed by Director of Plant Protection and Regulatory Services Directorate, the Ministry said the suspension has become necessary due to the high level of local interceptions at the exit point. The Ministry also cited the alarming rate of external notifications and the new EU directive to all countries to re-provide doses to the EU on the management of harmful organisms on some of the above vegetables. The statement said Ghana recently came out of a ban on vegetable exports imposed by the EU and as such the country is still on the red list and being monitored closely. Let's speak to Philip Abayori. He is president of the Chamber of Agric and he joins us via phone. And thanks for joining us, sir. So, as a chamber, how worried are you about the frequency and of the ban on our vegetable exports? Uh, I think we need to have the game, we as producers in the agricultural sector, to comply with these regulations. And we also wish that the plant protection agency will be tough to get compliance because you see when farmers are producing at a particular point they use agrochemicals and they are you know we have different segments of agrochemicals we have systemic chemicals we have chemicals that you can use which at least within a week or three days you can harvest we have chemicals when you spray them on the crops it takes three months so the farmers need to identify now, the Plant Protection and Regulatory Services cited the high level of local interceptions at exit points and the alarming rate of external notifications. Now, as a chamber, how do you also liaise with your members to ensure that they conform to the standards? We, 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 we are, this is really very serious because it falls within the ambience of the producer. You know, when you have a product currently, we have what we call the bias market. It's a bias that dictates the kind of products and the kind of conditions that the produce need to be grown. Mm. So we are highly um, recommending an emergency meeting with our members and also talking to other stakeholders for us to conform, mm. not only for international standards, but our local standards. But these same produce are being consumed locally. If they are not good for the external market, they should not also be good for the Ghanaian market. Mm. And that is what we need to enforce. So we are making concerted efforts to have discussions with the Plant Protection Agency to come out with a criteria on how we can test and ensure that those that do not comply even with the local market are destroyed. Mm. When people start seeing that what they are producing is not conforming, either they change the practices to ensure that they conform because it is a market we are seeking to expand. And if we create an impression that we cannot produce quality or produce that we are pro vegetables that we are producing are questionable, mm -hmm. then the, the intake of vegetables locally will reduce, and then it will also reduce the income that we expect to generate. Mm -hmm. So I think that the whole issue lies on we, the producers, to ensure that we comply, and then also to protect the market space that we have. Thank you very are much. We take seriously to collaborate with the ministry to ensure that it happens. Thank you very much for your time. And Philip Abayori is president of the Chamber of Agri.